Ellen McCauley at Pray It Up in Syracuse, New York. On the first day of this session, I talked about the eight evidence-based, science-proven, best diets in the universe and beyond. We are now on number seven. Number seven, I think, is quite interesting, and I think some of you might be able to embrace it because it's not hard, and no one in this group really likes to do anything that's hard. <laughs> so, this one is called volumetrics. And what that means is, right now, you eat a certain amount of food. So let's say for breakfast, you're having bacon, eggs, English muffin with peanut butter, a yogurt, and a banana. That's a certain amount of food. Too much, really. But it's a certain amount. But let's say you replace it with a frittata with egg beaters and uh, perhaps some, some, some chicken or turkey. Or if you don't want to do meat that early in the morning, you can put all kinds of veggies in it. And then maybe you'll have, still have that banana. And you'll have the same volume of food, but less calories. That is what volumetrics is. Filling yourself up so that you're not saying, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So, it satisfies hunger, it reduces calories, it meets people's nutritional needs, but you gotta throw in a little physical activity. Every week I'm writing M-O-V-E, M-O-V-E. You know, people, and I'm not talking people who are using a walker, I'm talking healthy people that should M-O-V-E. All right, then there's some definitions, because some people just don't get what fiber is. Fiber that cannot dissolve in water, our body needs whole grains, carrots, cucumbers, zucchinis, tomatoes. Also, there's partially soluble fiber that partially dissolves in water. Our body needs that too. Oatmeal, nuts, seeds, beans, apples, pears, berries. Make sure you see a doctor before you start loading up on a lot of fiber. If the doctor ever said to you, you have some diverticuli, you can't be eating seeds or nuts, don't go, Ellen said I had to eat seeds and nuts and wind up with diverticulitis or something. Watch it that you don't go from no fiber to a ton of fiber because you'll be in the bathroom a lot. The thing is, everything in moderation, everything do over time. Try to reduce your daily calories by 500 or 1,000 calories. If you're having 2,500 calories a day, and you'd be surprised how they add up, try to bring it down to 1,000. And just try to do 30 minutes of something a day. You know, I believe in, in just walking a place, moving, doing something. No foods are forbidden, but you really <coughs> shouldn't be eating fried, sweets, and fatty foods. They should be limited or avoided. Too many pretzels, too many crackers, too much cheese you people are eating. Then there's breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. I think these look great and easy. Check out the sample menu. Um, now it says there's some questions. Is skipping meals okay? You know, if you're going to skip meals and feel so hungry or so weak that you pass out, I tried skipping two meals a day. It did me no favors. You might want to just try to have three balanced meals a day. Will frequent meals help me control hunger? I don't know. Some people say, oh, I eat four or five times a day. It helps me. I haven't seen anyone in the group lose a lot of weight and keep it off by having four or five meals a day. Should I avoid eating after 8 p.m.? There's no other answer to that question, but yes. yes. All right. Should I eat more slowly? No answer to that question, but yes. Okay. Always ask your doctor before you do anything. I've also added in here, I'm going to stop right there, Bob, because I'm going to do another one in a few minutes. 